Hi, I'm Brandon Bays, and I wanted to go into a topic that is something that I is kind of an unusual topic, but maybe it's time that we learn to say no. Most of us like to think of ourselves as kind people, as caring people, and when we're asked to do something that may not even feel right for us, we're quick to say yes. I, yes, of course, yes, of course. And we get overwhelmed and it doesn't feel right for us. And it can be the source of a lot of stress so that we haven't actually learned to say no. And one of the things I've had to learn myself over the years, because I have this huge international schedule traveling to the 49 countries that we give the journey in, is how to say no. And so I take it back to basics inside myself. And when someone asks me to do a project, or can I help them with something, and my immediate response is, of course I'll help you to do that. And then I now say, just give me a moment. I need to go check inside if this is the right time for me or if this feels appropriate. So my first response before saying yes or no is to ask for time to get clear whether this is the right time for me, okay? Then I go aside and I, I, I go somewhere for five minutes and I just close my eyes and I go inside my body and I imagine saying yes, what it would mean, the time commitment, how much I'd be expected to do, the result that they're looking for. And I make a full picture of that and then I check my body, my, the front of my body. And if it just feels easy breezy, that doing that thing feels easy breezy, then I plunge ahead and it's yes all the way. And I feel that my soul is aligned with that, my body's aligned with it, and my heart's aligned with it. However, if when I make a picture of it, I get like a glitch or a contraction, or my body just you know, contra you know, contracts and gets tense in some way. I know it's a signal because the body is the barometer of the soul. And the only way the soul can communicate to you is through wordless impulses. And so if I get that, mm, this doesn't feel right, I then will go to uh, back to that person and I will say, you know, right now, I'm not getting the, the, the sense that this is the right time for me to be involved with it. But that doesn't mean in the future I can't do that project. It's just right now is not the right not time. And so I give myself permission to respond from a gut instinct level. And I have to tell you honestly, every time I have overridden that gut instinct, and it's the body it really is the barometer of how your soul feels about it. And if I get, ugh, this just doesn't feel right, and I end up plunging ahead anyway and doing this thing, I always end up at the bottom of the mountain. And I can see the very exact moment that I overrode truth. I overrode my soul and instead did what others thought I should do. And I always end up at the bottom of the mountain. And I know the exact moment I overrode my own instincts. So it's establishing this relationship with your body that with every decision you make in your life, that you go back to the body and you just picture two different roots, the yes root and the no root. Or should I do this and should I do this? First you should I do this, check the body. Easy breezy, plunge ahead and do it. Your soul says, yeah, right ahead. If you get, mm, this doesn't feel so right, a, a clenching inside your body, do not take the action. And then you can also check it out with the alternative. The alternative would be this, and check that out, if that feels appropriate. And it may be that neither is appropriate and that you need to find a third solution. But always bring it back to the body because your body knows what's right for you. And I can't trust my mind. My mind is full of all kinds of notions and nonsense and fantasies and, and also trying to be a good person. And if you can just 
buy yourself the time to say, listen, I need just a couple of minutes to check inside myself. Even when you're on a phone call, someone asks you to do something. Hey, you know, why, do, why don't you give me a chance? I, I need to go speak to someone else about this for a moment and I'll call you back in five minutes. Always, always before agreeing to do anything, say I need to, I need just a few minutes to check, uh, check my schedule, check with another person, you know, give an appropriate reason why you need those few moments and take those few moments to find out what's right for you. You'll start to live a very guided life and your body will start to trust you and relax, but your body is actually bracing against all these things that you agree to that you shouldn't do. And it's like freaking out that you're overwhelmed by all the things you should do in life. And if it knew that you were always going to consult your body, then it would start to relax and work with you. And you'd find that you'd get a lot more done in a much more relaxed way, in a much more fluid way, in a much more grace-guided way. So this is just another little tidbit to make it a little less overwhelm, a little bit more ways to say no in your life. So, namaste.